This is a two-part video on how to cool down this road glide. I'm running temperatures over 350 degrees in this hot Florida sun, and it's pretty damn hot. So I'm going to try to cool this down. I'm taking a radical approach to doing that. What I'm going to do is install an oil filter relocation kit, which will bring the oil filter away from the uh, motor to the back. It's my dog again. Very annoying. going to do an oil filter cooler that's going to mount near the front. I will cool down the oil. I'm also doing some air deflectors in the front, all from DK Customs. If you haven't seen them, check out their website. A link will be in the description. All the boxes you have here are all part of this. Again, it's the oil filter relocation kit, it's the air deflectors that they sell, and the uh, oil filter cooler. I got to figure out how to get all this out of these boxes onto that bike and try to mount it. So that's going to be part one of this video. Part two of the video is going to be the exhaust system. What I did was I took my Reinhardt uh, 4.5 DBX slip-ons, had them powder coated black because I'm, going, I'm trying to black out the entire bike. And I took my uh, headers, which are the slimline duals, and I had them uh, Cerakoted, ceramic coating, uh, again in an attempt to sl uh, cool down this engine. Um, <clears throat> so basically between all that plus this and the love jugs I'm hoping to be going from 350 plus degrees to 250-ish. If I could do that I'll be very happy. If I could get close I'll, I'll still be happy. Anyway that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unbox this stuff real quick show you what it looks like and that'll be it for now. It's also a bonus part of this two-part series which I'll throw in there. That's pretty much it. Let's get to it. Okay, we have the oil cooler itself. Nice little unit. This is how the oil filter is going to be redirected. I mean, the oil is going to be redirected towards the new filter location, which is behind the uh, primary case. So we got that. We have four black uh, hose finishers for the breather and uh, oil hose lines, which the breather is something I'm gonna be doing next. Okay, this box has a giant hose. I bought a K&N filter for this. This is where the oil filter is gonna clamp to. Some zip ties. And a bunch of little bastards and nuts. Back in the box. The next box. These are the air deflectors. It's the right and left. I don't need to take this out of the package yet. It's the left one. Good instructions. And more fasteners. These mount to the fairing. They redirect the air and it's supposed to cool it down. We'll see how that works. Next box. I ordered the extra braided hose line. It's a nice thick braided hose. Better than the uh, rubber hose it comes with. A little bit of an upgrade. It didn't really cost much. But I got it. The actual rubber hose. This is the mount that will mount it to the up tube, which uh, will mount the uh, air filter. I'm sorry, the oil cooler. You know, the mount. I guess it's a mounting bracket. And, yes, more fasteners. So, anyway, those are all the parts. 
I'm going to see if I can get it on the bike now. And you can be my witness. I'm going to try that. See how it goes. Hopefully I get this done tonight. And then tomorrow I get to do the, uh, the pipes, which I'll show you in a few. But let's get to wrenching on these and see how it goes. Wish me luck. All right, I'm going to do the oil relocation first. I, I kind of mounted the uh, brackets where I want it on the up tube for the oil cooler. I'll come back to that. Let me get the oil filter out first so I can start on a relocation. I'm going to use some, uh, actually not this one, it's a good one. I'm going to use a cloth to get under there because I'm sure some oil is going to drip out. Slippery motherfucker. I'm gonna drip out. Cause I can't get a grip on it. Okay. Not bad. Very minimal spillage. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse. Okay. Well, this stupid camera missed this whole thing. Anyway, I took the oil, <laughs> oil filter out. what's going to replace the oil filter there is an in and out on here if you can see it this is going to screw in all right the in is on top okay put a little bit of oil on the o-ring in and out again so I don't screw it up. Alright, the lower parts out. Yeah. Alright. Hopefully that's in and she won't leak. Okay, that part's done. And I'm doing this kind of out of order right now, the oil filter relocation. You're supposed to do the relocation first. The problem I have is the oil filter cooler uh, it's not going to be friendly because I have the uh, love jugs on there and the love jugs are not leaving any room for the cooler to come in. Let me show you what I'm talking about real quick and then I'll show you what I'm planning on doing. So basically, here's the love jugs. The cooler is supposed to go here. All okay. right. And let me show you real quick. Here's the cooler, it's supposed to go here. Not gonna happen. Not with the lower fairings and not with the love jugs there. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is, if you can see it, I put the two brackets right there. Now I'm gonna try to mount this somehow up here. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a try. So, stay tuned, here it comes. <clears throat> okay, I had to switch to daytime, it's too dark, and hopefully the video came out. We're, gonna, we're going to continue with the oil relocation uh, kit and oil cooler. Um, basically what I just did was I took off the foot pegs to allow me to get to, I'm swapping those out anyway for some Willy G's, black, I'm blacking out the bike still. So you need to remove or loosen the um, passenger uh, foot peg bracket, uh, mounting bracket in order to start uh, to continue to do the oil re relocation kit. Jeez, I can't talk today. Stand by. Before I put this on, I'll do a little bit of thread locker. Sometimes I don't do this. I really should start.
this top one is up. Bitch. And now we're going to mount the bracket to the this jammy here. I got this little uh, gets in the small tight spaces. I'm going to use the two uh, nuts and bolts that are provided with the acorn nut and a washer on the opposite side. Okay. Let's see what's next. Make sure you have extra nuts, bolts, whatever, because they don't give you enough in the kit. It's already short three screws, and I don't even think I have the screws for the oil cooler. And customer service, they're not too fast in getting back to you. So keep that in mind. Let's see as we continue on here. It, uh, they have lifetime filters they put in. I just got a K&N black filter to put on here. Throw it on there, see how it goes. Just hand tighten. All right, we're gonna start doing the uh, hoses. I bought the uh, upgraded braided hose. So what we're gonna do is hook one end up to the out of the uh, oil filter adapter, which is replaced where the oil filter was. Hook it from there, from the out to the in on the oil filter itself. I believe. Let's find out. Uh, let me see if I can get you in here. Maybe you can see that or not. So the out is on the bottom of this, and the in is on is closer to the middle. The in's in the middle. The out's on the outside. So I believe this is coming out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this right here on the bottom. All right, screw this, I'm taking this out because there's no way to get to this shit. So don't follow the instructions. Get this, do this first. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, so much easier to take this off first. You really can't even get the, the hose on there tight unless you get up close to it. On there, good. Okay, this now is going out to the in on this, so I have to cut it. I'm not cutting it yet. I'm just going to use the hose that came with it to run from the uh, the adapter to the oil cooler because I don't know how much I'm going to need of that. I don't want to play around with cutting this right now, so I'm going to run this. Directly to this side. Again, put that on there. I don't know if you can tell on there, but you can see there's an out and an in. Okay, I'm going to put that back on. Put a little more oil on there. Okay, I end up using this. Anyone that tells you this is easy, you kiss my fucking ass. Okay, we're getting there. I can't really go. 
too much of an angle because of this. Now we gotta make sure that it clears, clears the, the wheel. So obviously no that way, no problem. Plenty of clearance. All right. I'm gonna mount this a little bit tighter, see how it goes. And we're on our way. It was intended to be mounted, but the only thing I could do, unless I wanted to go with a, one of the Thunder air uh, oil coolers and then go to Harley and have them uh, flash it. I hate going to Harley for anything. So I made it work. It's in front of the fairing, so I'm still gonna get plenty of air. And that, that is on secure. So I don't know if you can really see it here, but this is secure as hell. Now I just gotta mount the uh, the lines and we should be good to go. Okay, and I ordered these. They're a little fancier looking. If not, you get these that come with these hose clamps. So now what we're gonna do, it's going from the out of the old oil filter, which is now just a cap with a pressure gauge, not a pressure gauge, just a, an outlet that will go to the in on this. And then the out on this will go to the oil cooler, which is over there. And then from the oil cooler back to the uh, cap that's on the old oil filter. So let's cut these down and get to work. I'm all done. I'm take, uh, let's take a look at it. Start it up. See if oil spurts everywhere. I don't know. But it's... Uh, we'll talk about this in a minute. So that's how it's mounted there. The two hose clamps underneath. And in front, but you can't see it. The hose is going over there. Ran it up and ran it back. I'm gonna have to put some zip ties down here. Let me just make sure it works first. Pull down to there. Now let's start it up, see what happens. Okay, first uh, test run, no good. Oil leak, okay, what I suggest you do, I'm gonna make sure I edit it as long along the way. Don't mount the oil filter, don't mount the oil cooler until after you put both lines into the bottom of that because it's almost impossible to secure properly if it's already mounted. So before you mount it, put both lines in, secure the hell out of it, then mount it. And I'll show you how it's done again. I'm gonna try to start it, let's see what happens. If it leaks oil again, I'm put my bike out in the garbage and said I don't care anymore. That's the finished product. The lines are under there. Let's give it a whirl. You can see my real-time reaction to screaming if it doesn't work.
minutes, see what happens. Okay, all done. Way harder than uh, the video showed you from DK Customs. I mean, it's a good product, but they need to really work on um, their install video. So instructions are terrible. There's no pictures. I need pictures. Um, so anyway, hopefully you learn from this video. I made a lot of mistakes, but I learned as I went along. Hopefully this video will make it a lot easier for you. You don't make those mistakes. So uh, here's a look at the bike when it starts up and so far no leaks. Okay, was that easy to do? Hell no. A hell of a lot harder than it looks on a video they supply. So hopefully with the uh, mistakes that I made, and I made a bunch of them, and I'll put little comments along the way on the best way to do this. It can be done. I finished. It took me all day to do it. First time I had a leak. Second time I figured out why. Fixed it. Doesn't appear to be leaking right now. I don't know about the cooling effect. We'll figure that out later on. Again, this is just part one. Part two is going to be on the exhaust, and I'll tell you more about that later, but basically I seracoded uh, the uh, header pipes and put those back on. Let's see if I can get this temperature down from the 350 range into the 250 range. Coming up, but real quick, that's what this whole oil filter relocation is about and the oil cooler install and how to get around love jugs or any other way to install it. Worked for me, got it installed, not happy with, uh, I was, wasn't was supplied with all the screws, but I got around it, I have extra screws everywhere here. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this, I hope this helps you out. If you take this on, please watch this video, reach out to me with any questions, I'll, I'll try to help you. Um, good product, I don't know yet, we'll figure it out future updates coming on this in part two. But there you have it, it's installed and it's working.